Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, if you guys remember, I did a video way back in the day called Are Premiere Pencils Worth It? So what I did is I went back out and I got another set of limited edition uh, set of 12 Blackwing pencils. So this is, um, I believe... Uh, Blackwing 1138 so it's another type of story that they're going with so the last one had to deal with like rock and roll and this one has another story as well so um, the argument is are they like really like worth it you know like they're 25 bucks and like you only get 12 pencils so we'll see how this kind of plays out in the end so I'm gonna show you guys some tests and uh, show you how uh, things are with this thing but for right now let's uh, deal with the unboxing and I'm doing this as slow as I can so well, not really as slow as I can. I'm trying to open it, but uh, I'll say one thing: they have really good wrapping. So I'm gonna try to figure this out. And, but while I figure this out, um, if you guys remember from the last video, um, I did conclude that y you have to have like a certain taste for pencils. So say, for instance, uh, you're in like that, um, uh, just, like don't really care you just, as long as it's like or, like around like the two B or two A range, then you're fine. Uh, but say, for instance. Uh, you have like a preference, so such as like a really soft pencil, like a 4B or something like that. You might want to look elsewhere um, rather than this, these Blackwing limited edition pencils. But if you're like, kind of like a, a guy that kind of likes uh, like a more like a hard and light pencil, such as like um, I don't know, like but has like a lot of range to it, um, the Blackwing can do that, and uh, it'll depend on um, what you'd like. So, but what I think it is when it comes to these limited edition pencils, it really is just like the the casing, the um, the marketing of it and I think it's just like the flagship um, of their pencils just rebranded to this limited edition ones that has an actual story so um knowing me I bought 12 different ones and uh well not 12 different ones I should say 4 different packets and I plan to not do them anymore so right now I'm zooming in on uh, what this one's about and it looks like it's about um some sort of like uh motion picture uh, with film and uh how film has directed uh, like, uh, narratives and how you're writing stories and this didn't really have like a um, like a drawing theme like you know how the other one had like a music theme like when writing music this one has kind of more of like a, a storytelling and how like you're writing about story and um that's what how it went with um but the purpose of what we're reviewing is is that why people use them for drawing and um, there's a few things good about that and i want to talk about that right now um so right now we're just going to open the box and take a look inside. So as you can see, the casing is quite similar to the other uh, video I did. I think it was the 725 element edition ones. And um, it kind of has like a matte black finish when you open the, I don't, know, I don't know what to call it, the sleeve. It has like this nice uh, Louis Vuitton type of texture on the inside. It has like that nice transparent paper along with a, I think it's the same description, I'm not quite sure, but maybe like a long, longer version of the description along with the volume. I don't know how they come with the volume numbers, but anyways, um, I like the finish on this. Um, it definitely has like that movie theme with like the movie reel, uh, that dark gray theme uh, representing the black and white movies in the past. Um, has like that nice uh, brushed aluminum finish on the eraser head and that black eraser. Uh, that's of course uh, a replaceable. That's what a black one is known for, and you notice how it's flat. And it has a nice tip when you sharpen it. The, the wood casing around it. It's pretty solid. I think that's oak, I'm not quite sure, but I should probably look at the box since it's a review. But uh, I'm not going to. But you see, the erase is on there pretty well. Uh, as you can see, I just took it off. As you can see, really nicely well done. Don't mind the fingernails. Um, so it's really nicely well made. And I'm going to put that down for you guys. Uh, we're going to take a look at um, some comparisons. So, and then also using it. So I, I did sharpen one. They always come unsharpened. And I sharpened it with this normal sharpener. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put this down and take a look at another set. So right here, I have the current one I'm looking at, which is the 1138. You can see, um, this is how I slipped it off, and, um, the cover is pretty simple, uh, quite similar to the, um, one that we did before. It looks pretty nice. Very snazzy, and that's what I came with, so that's what you see right now. And then, if we look for a different angle, Let's take a look at another angle. We have the uh, 725. Sorry, 725 or 728? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. You can see in this pencil, the eraser casing is um, gold, so it's brushed gold. And then the pencils, quite similar. And the package is quite similar as well as this new one I'm just unboxing. Um, so there we go. 
as you can see, um, I haven't been using these pencils that often. I've been using their normal brand ones. But um, I don't know what to do with these limited edition ones. I'm not quite sure when it comes to limited editions. Should I use them? Should I not? Uh, the correct answer is to use them all. But uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about limited edition pencils and using them. So you can see, you can see give a comparison. The transparency paper, the 725. Oh, there's a the number. 725 is a little bit darker. It has a little more of a smoke tone. And then the uh, 1130 is more transparent, more more clear. Um, same texture. Uh, let's take a look at another type of comparison when it comes to the other box. Um, as we move along, notice how it's like not edited. Uh, looks like the um, the fonts are quite the same. Uh, looks like the new ones has a little more smaller and thinner font, and not as bold. Uh, we can look at the backs; they're quite similar. Has it that's quite same format. Um, the packaging uh, itself and the paper use looks fairly similar. Uh, barcode is similar. It looks at the bottom; it doesn't have the label uh, "Made in Japan" on the first one I reviewed, but now this one does. Um, as I zoom in <laughs> without an autofocus, this is a T3i by the way. I don't have an autofocus, so I have to do it myself. Uh, looks like everything's quite the same. Looks like they just changed a couple of the words on the bottom. Uh, you can pause if you'd like to see what I, what they did. Now that's basically when it comes to the back of the box, besides the dates and the descriptions. And let's see, let's move on to the, um, the matte finish of the box, I believe. I'm not quite sure. My hand is going with this. Um, let's take a look. I should be fast forwarding. All right, here we go. Looks like um, looks like I think the one on the right is the brand new one, which is the 1125. And the one on the left is the 725. You can see the one on the right is it has a little more of a matte finish, not as dark as the 725 one. It looks like the box on the left has a little more of a blacker finish. Is that a word? More black. Sorry, more black. And it looks like the boxes themselves are quite the same. Um, so when I'm reviewing these other ones, I will show you guys another example of how these work. Um, so I think it's time now to take out a couple and uh, do a little bit of some writing tests. So right now I'm just doing a couple um, shots. I think <laughs> I think the reason why I filmed so much of this is because I was supposed to um, do a couple more uh, shots with and without, a couple more rotation shots, a couple more editing shots, but I didn't. So I forgot it's like having to post it on to uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and uh, just do it all together. So right now I'm comparing the erasers. So you can see I'm zooming in on both of them. Looks like the finishes are the same. The binding and the crimping are both the same. Uh, the only fin difference is the finish. You can see um, they're both glossy. It looks like the writing on the pencils are quite the same besides the number. Of course, the 1130 is a little bit smaller. Uh, with the tips of them, looks like if I can try to focus it, uh, it's going to be a little more difficult than you think. Here we go. Up and back up. Oh, there you go. Looks like the wood that they use is quite the same as the other one. Looks like the 1130 has some sort of like a two tone finish to it. Um, so we're going to sharpen them in a little bit and then uh, we'll get going. Alright, so moving on. I have a blank index card and I want to test them both out by drawing uh, some simple uh, demonstrations. And I have a, a normal pencil you guys can compare it with. Uh, this is a normal 2H. I think it's a Ticonderoga if you guys really want to be specific. Uh, actually, it's not. Never mind. Ticonderoga it normally has like, the green label on it. So this is a normal uh, HB pencil, 2HB. So right now I'm going to do a couple tests. And right now I'm doing is uh, I'm just going to write a name. So this is called the regular pencil. There we go. 2HB. So I'm just going to draw a little block and I'm going to do some shading. I'll go from dark to light. I think I might do some. I think I'm gonna do some lines. There we go. Come some quick hatching strokes. This normal pencil. There we go. All right. Now I'm gonna go to the 725, the one I reviewed in the first video. I think yeah, a year ago. 725. I'm do the same thing. I'll go from white to dark. You can see. You can kind of see the difference in quality. Um, I'm not trying at all. When I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying the same as I am with the normal pencil. It looks like it has more smoother gradient. Uh, I should probably go lighter, but it looks like it has more um, freedom when it comes to when I was talking about range. Um, and the 725 definitely has that. As you can see, I'm on the, with the regular 2HB, I can only go from light to dark so little, but with the 725, I can go way more of a range. There we go. I'm going to do some hatching. There we go. 
Uh, and the only reason why it's there is because I sharpened it more, I think. Uh, to be fair. There we go. That's the 725. So moving on to what we were waiting for is the 1138. And we're going to test this one out. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the box again. And I'll go from dark to light as well. Same exact technique. So far it feels the same as before, as to my knowledge. <laughs> I'm just doing a voiceover, by the way. So I'm just trying to remember uh, what I did. And it feels very similar to the 725. I can't really tell the difference when it comes to both of them. And it kind of has like the same technique. Um, virtually almost no difference at all. <laughs> um, there you go. There, video evidence to prove it. I mean, I could be doing this wrong. I have no clue. Um, maybe I'll do some official drawings, official sketches with this. Um, but when it comes to writing, um, as you can see when I'm writing the numbers on top, uh, no significant difference. So there we go. So um, I think my next test is going to be, I think, spheres. I'm not quite sure what I did. I don't remember. It looks like I turned it over. And um, let's see. Looks like I'm doing some writing tests with a 725, doing my name over and over again. See how consistency is with that. Do it again with 1125, 1130 in the bottom. Uh, I mean, that's what it's really used for, really. And I can feel eh, it's hard, guys. I don't know what to say. Um, it feels the same to me. Um, I'm gonna do it again with the uh, 725 just, just to see if I feel any difference. Um, maybe a little softer, I'm not quite sure. Um, here we go with the 1138 again. But yeah, I don't really. If I, if I had to close my eyes, I wouldn't feel really much of a difference, but if I had to open my eyes, definitely, I guess the color of it. Um, I'm going to zoom in and focus on here real quick. Uh, virtually the same. I try to do different pressures. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's basically when it comes to writing. Um, so, moving on to our last test. I'm going to do some spheres. I think I'm going to go with a 725. Here we go. I don't know why I didn't it with the regular one this time around. Maybe I'll do it for the next one um, as I do a sphere horribly. There we go. A little, some more cross hatching. <laughs> poorly done. Super poorly done actually. Um, there we go. Folks, this is not a good tutorial for um, a sphere. So moving on to the next one. There we go. We got another sphere. See, I'm doing a little more of some hatching and then later on some cross hatching. A little better. I shouldn't have curved it in the first place, but this one, obviously, I learned in this one. There we go. That's the proper way. Go. Hopefully, outline the edge. There, oh, there you go. Come on, rotate the pe paper better. Never mind. I guess I'm not rotating the paper. Go. Adding a little bit of shadow because I feel like it. There we go. These are drawing tests. So literacy versus uh, illustration when it comes to these things. And I don't really feel any difference. And when it comes to looking at it, uh, I, I guess the 1130 is a little bit softer, but just barely. Um, so yeah, that's my quick review on the uh, 1138. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's nothing really much to talk about when it comes to this pencil other than um, it's already been discussed. I could have tasted, tested the erasers, but uh, it's an eraser and eraser to me when it comes to these. When it comes to the other one I tested out, it's, it's, it was almost virtually the same. So that's it. See you guys in the next one, and talk to you later.